2005. And with the inclusion of those that we honor today, it is now engraved with 604 names of firefighters who made the ultimate sacrifice protecting the citizens of Ontario. My name is Bruce Goujon, and I am honored to act as Master of Ceremonies for today's service. On this day, we honor 13 more firefighters who gave their lives in the performance of their duties. Would you please rise and join firefighter Judith Middleton of the Barry Fire Services for the singing of our national anthem.
Today, we add to this memorial the names of 13 men who did just that. We are here to honor their sacrifice and to pay tribute to their service. As firefighters, you represent the very best expression of our collective intention to serve. By your service, we are all enriched. And by your sacrifice and that of your loved ones, we're deeply humbled. The author Kurt Vonnegut once said, I can think of no more stirring symbol of man's humanity to man than a fire engine. I could not agree more. When I hear the urgent cry of a fire engine siren, I know that someone's life may be in danger, that all of their hopes, dreams, and aspirations are in peril. But hearing that siren also means that help is on the way, that people are looking out for each other. So, like Mr. Vonnegut, I cannot think of a more fitting symbol of humanity than the sound of a fire engine. Firefighters are motivated by a strong sense of duty to their, to their fellow citizens and an inspiring amount of courage. And even with your courage, your skills, and your expertise, you encounter unavoidable risks. You are forced to contend with the long-term effects that smoke and toxins may have on your health. Many of the firefighters that we are honoring here today spent years, even decades, successfully battling flames. But all of those years breathing in harmful smoke and workplace toxins ultimately took a toll on their health. I want to pay my respects to those brave firefighters who risked their own well-being in the line of duty. And I am so glad that we are ensuring we never forget them by engraving their names on this monument, which will stand here proudly for generations to come. J'aimerais rendre hommage à ces braves pompiers qui ont risqué leur propre sécurité alors qu'il était en service. Et je suis tellement heureuse que leur nom figure fièrement sur ce monument de telle sorte que leur souvenir se prolongera pour encore bien des générations. To all of you here who are still risking your own health and safety each and every day to protect our families, our friends, our neighbors, and the people whom you have never met, I am so grateful and so proud that you call Ontario home. On behalf of the 13 million people across our beautiful province, thank you. Merci. Miigwech. Minister of Community Safety and Correctional Services. Sir. Good occasion, and to add my voice to that of Premier Wen. Today, we gather to honor those who truly embody the meanings of dedication, courage, and compassion. Firefighters are part of the very fabric of communities across Ontario. They deserve our appreciation because of their extraordinary commitment to helping others. Firefighters have our back. We are safer because of what they do. I can say with certainty that our government has their back as well. Firefighters rush in into dangerous situations in a determined and professional fashion. They shouldn't have to worry about the consequences of that bravery years later. And as a symbol of our gratitude, I'm proud to say that our government enacted presumptive legislation for firefighters battling eight types of cancer and heart injuries in 2007, and most recently added six more to support those who support us. It is a small token of what we can do. To all the firefighters here today, thank you for all that you do and for all that you are willing to do to keep our communities safe. To their families, we say thank you for your understanding and sacrifice. To paraphrase a former fire chief, when someone becomes a firefighter, their greatest act of bravery has been achieved. What they do after, that is all in the line of duty. We salute you for it and we honor those who live and die abiding by that principle. Thank you, mercy. Good afternoon, Your Honor, Premier Wynn, Minister 
Lewandowski, President Santoro, platform guests, ladies and gentlemen, fire service friends, and families of the fallen. It is an honor for me to be here. Today, we reflect on and acknowledge the significant contributions of all fallen service, fire service personnel from across our province. Today, as you've heard, 13 more of our friends and colleagues will be added to Ontario's growing list of dedicated men and women. This brings us to a total of 604 names engraved on this memorial. Firefighting is an essential service. The public expects the fire service to be prepared for and to respond to almost anything. Over the past few years, the fire service has been called upon to deal with a number of new things, such as vulnerable occupants, floods, as uh, recently mid-rise combustible construction, rail safety, natural hazards, uh, to name a few. On top of that, we are challenging the fire service to deliver their services in a more cost-effective and efficient way. We all know that we can count on them to continue to respond and meet these challenges. Today is a poignant reminder that we must also continue to protect the safety of our firefighters and consider the impact on the well-being of their families. One of the ways we can do this is by investing in training, cutting-edge research, innovative programs, and the provision of new and modern equipment. Our fire service not only provides an essential service, they also play a role in enhancing the quality of life in our communities. We see them volunteering their time with toy drives and food bank initiatives, and in boot drives to raise money for Muscular Dystrophy Canada. When we lose one, the loss affects the entire community. <coughs> Today, let us remember and honor our fire service and our firefighters for their commitment to public safety and for their ongoing contributions to our communities. Thank you. Thank you, Bruce. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Premier Wynne, Minister Nakvi, Fire Marshal Vinslavic, President Santoro, President Carruthers, fellow fire chiefs, firefighters, family and friends, ladies and gentlemen. I am extremely honoured to take part in this very special ceremony on behalf of the Ontario Association of Fire Chiefs. We are here today to recognise and honour Ontario's fallen firefighters, women and men who have sacrificed their lives in the line of duty. These firefighters were not only exceptional public servants, but they were our friends, our family members, and our loved ones. They were more than just firefighters. They were a part of our lives in so many ways. Each of them sacrificed their lives while protecting the lives and property of others, and while protecting the environment throughout Ontario. The names of 591 firefighters are already inscribed on the walls of this monument. Their dedication and devotion to public service, public safety, and the Ontario Fire Service will be remembered by all of us, including the people they protected, the communities they served, and the family and friends that they have left behind. Sadly, today we are adding 13 more names to this monument, 13 more firefighters who made the ult ultimate sacrifice in the line of duty. This brings our rising total to 604 colleagues who have made the ultimate sacrifice and are forever remembered on this memorial wall. The hazard and hazards and risks encountered by today's firefighters are ever increasing. Fires burn hotter and faster than ever before. The products of combustion are more toxic than ever before. The exposure to chemical, biological and other toxins are all too frequent. Despite our continuing and collective efforts to enhance firefighter health and safety through training, equipment, building and fire code enhancements and tactical innovation, this continues to be a profession fraught with both hazard and risk. The collective goal of the fire service is to see the day when no new names need to be added to this memorial. Until that dream becomes a reality, each of us must commit to do everything possible to reduce and eliminate line of duty injury and death. To the friends and families of each and every one of our fallen firefighters, we mourn with you in your loss and we celebrate the lives of each and every one of these brave women and men alongside you. To each and every one of our fallen firefighters, colleagues and friends, thank you for your unwavering commitment to public safety. 
we pledge to never forget the supreme sacrifice that you have made in the line of duty. Thank you. Ontario, Mr. Dave Carruthers. Sir? Thank you, Bruce. Your Honor, Premier Wynn, Mr. Nafti, Fire Marshal Wasabi, President Pei, President Santoro, distinguished guests, family members, ladies and gentlemen. I'm honored to stand before you today to bring greetings from the members and the executive of the Firefighters Association of Ontario. Today we recognize another 13 members of our profession who have made the ultimate sacrifice to protect the lives and property of those who call this glorious province their home. This we do not do lightly, but with all the respect and thanks that is due to these valiant members of the greatest profession in the world. The manner in which these individuals passed is not the reason that we are here today, but rather the fact that they were willing to make this sacrifice in an effort to make life easier and better for their fellow residents of the province of Ontario. They did, they, they all did selflessly, and they are all due the thanks and respect that we offer them today. To those family members who are with us today, we can only offer our condolences and our gratitude. You can be proud of these individuals who are no longer with us physically, but will always be part of our lives. Their names have been added to the walls of this warm monument for all who pass to see. As members of their families, you may be assured that we will always be in their debt. To them and to you, we owe our deepest thanks and the reassurance that they will never be forgotten. Thank you. Good afternoon, Your Honor, Premier Wynn, Minister Nashby, Fire Marshal, Lislava, President Pegg, President Carruthers, special guests, family members, and sister and brother firefighters. It is a distinct honor to welcome you to the annual Ontario Fallen Firefighter Memorial Ceremony. I am honored to have the privilege of addressing you for the first time at this memorial. It was difficult to come up with appropriate words that somehow do justice to the men and women who surrendered all they had some of whom I knew on a personal level. The flags that adorn this memorial and now those that shadow our legislature are lowered to half-mast as a symbol of respect each time a firefighter in Ontario loses their life in a line of duty. Today we mark the ultimate sacrifice made by 13 brave firefighters since our memorial service last October. Ceremonies such as this one today will not replace the void left of a loved one lost. It will not take away the immense pain. It will not allow us to reverse history or change the circumstances that led to our brother's or sister's tragic death. However, in gathering collectively as we have done today and with those names etched upon these walls of honor, we can take comfort that they will never be forgotten. And not just by those of us who knew them, but by every person who walks past this memorial as they understand the sacrifice our members have made for all of us. These members, like the firefighters here today, are united by one cause, a commitment to respond. And we share a unique bond which comes from our profession, our calling we simply refer to as the job. There are obvious elements that pose great threats within our profession. However, the recent changes to the presumptive legislation for Ontario firefighters, we are now formally acknowledging more hidden risks that prematurely take the lives of many of our brothers and sisters. Dying in the line of duty is a somber expression that evokes immediate respect and intense grief. A death in the line of duty 
by whatever means, is a profound loss that resonates throughout our entire extended family. Yet despite the risks we take every day, it is a loss that many of us find difficult to accept. When I look over these names, I am grateful for the countless lives that they have touched and helped during their careers. It fills me with pride to share this occupation with these brave members. Others not in this profession call them heroes, but we say they were great firefighters just doing their job. Our honor guard marches to the rhythm of the pipes and drums. We toll the bell for the last alarm. We read aloud the names of the fallen, and we stand tall for the playing of taps. These are traditions we embrace to honor our own and you, their family. On behalf of the 11,000 professional firefighters across Ontario, I extend my sincerest condolences, thoughts and prayers to the families of our fallen brothers and sister firefighters. They deserve no less than to be honored in this fashion. To those firefighters on duty today, stay safe. This year we have added 13 names of firefighters who have died in the line of duty. They are Jack Inslee, Havelock, Neil Harrison, Toronto, Michael Bates, Toronto. Hank Smith, Sarnia. Larry Walker, Cambridge. Richard Mason, Ottawa. David O'Brien, Toronto. Ted Hayden, New Tecumseh. Stephen Grant, Ajax. John Neeson, Sault Ste. Marie. Edward Toth, Brantford. Kevin James, Southwold Township, Elgin County. and D. Wallace Telford, Brantford. I will now recite the firefighter's prayer, which can be found in your program should you wish to follow along. When I am called to duty, God, wherever flames may rage, give me the strength to save some life whatever be its age. Help me embrace a little child before it is too late, or save an older person from the horror of that fate. Enable me to be alert and hear the weakest shout, and quickly and efficiently to put the fire out. I want to fill my calling and give the best in me to guard my every neighbor and protect his property. And if according to your will, it is time to end my life, please bless me with your protecting hand, my children and my spouse. work environment than ever before.
we are forced to continually change our strategies and tactics to accomplish our tasks. Our methods may change, but our goals remain the same as they were in the past, to save lives and to protect property, sometimes at a terrible cost. This is what we do. This is our chosen profession. This is the tradition of the firefighter. The fire service of today is ever-changing, but is steeped in traditions some over 200 years old. One such tradition is the sounding of a bell. In the past, as firefighters began their tour of duty, it was the bell that signaled the beginning of that day's shift. Throughout the day and night, each alarm was sounded by a bell which summoned these brave souls to fight fires and to place their lives in jeopardy for the good of their fellow citizen. And when the fire was out and the, and the alarm had come to an end, it was the bell that signaled to all the completion of that call. When a firefighter had died in the line of duty, paying the supreme sacrifice, it was the mournful of the bell that solemnly announced a comrade's passing. We utilize these traditions as symbols which reflect honor and respect on those who have given so much and have served so well. To symbolize the devotion that these brave souls had for their duty, a special signal of three rings, three times each, represents the end of our comrades' duties and that they will be returning to quarters. And so to those who have selflessly given their lives for the good of their fellow man, their tasks completed, their duties well done, to our comrades, their last alarm, they have gone home. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, would you please rise for the departure of the Lieutenant Governor of Ontario.
On behalf of the Lieutenant Governor, the Honorable Elizabeth Dowswell, we would invite the immediate family members of those honored today to a reception to be held at the Lieutenant Governor's Suites, which may be accessed via the Lieutenant Governor's staircase located at the northwest corner of the legislative building. On behalf of the Memorial Foundation, I would like to thank the Toronto Fire Services and the Toronto Firefighters Association for their help and assistance with today's service. We would invite all others gathered to stay for a period of time to enjoy this beautiful memorial, built to forever honour those who have given the ultimate sacrifice in the line of duty. Thank you very much and have a great day.